A plant that doesn't have flowers, fruits, or seeds, and yet it's been thriving on Earth for 360 million years? Yeah, she's basically the Beyonce of prehistoric plants. Welcome back to Plant Science for Hot People, the place where we turn your plant obsession into actual brain points. Today, we're talking about ferns, those lush, leafy divas that make your apartment look like a rainforest, and your humidity levels a little unbearable. Now, here's the gag. Ferns don't flower, they don't fruit, they don't even make seeds. So how are they still here, outliving dinosaurs? dinosaurs, ice ages, and every houseplant trend on Pinterest. They invented their own way to reproduce. Instead of seeds, ferns make spores, teeny microscopic dust that floats through the air like plant glitter, waiting to land somewhere moist and mysterious to start a new life. And I'm not exaggerating, their life cycle is wild. They basically live a double life. One phase looks like a fern, you know, big, dramatic, and leafy. But before that, they're tiny heart-shaped organisms hiding on the soil, growing invisibly until it's their time to shine, like an underground celebrity era. This ancient strategy worked so well, ferns never bothered to evolve flowers or fruits. They were like, we've been doing fine since before trees existed, thanks. So the next time you walk past a fern, remember, you're looking at one of Earth's oldest success stories. A quiet green elder that's been photosynthesizing since the planet was still figuring out how to have continents. Because some plants don't chase trends, they are the blueprint.